Hi everyone, uh, welcome to part 5 of the series of videos that I am making on the latest oral examination questions that are being asked of candidates. So these questions are from students in Australia, uh, India and UK. Um, I get students uh, sending me questions from Singapore as well but uh, this time I don't have those questions so this is being asked of India. Um, uh, Singapore, Australia and UK. Alright, so let's get started without wasting much time. I have previously made four videos on the latest oral examination questions and this is video five. I'm just trying to pass on these questions to you so that you can benefit from it. I have discussed uh, responses to most of these questions in my videos. You can find them uh, in the appropriate playlist. Uh, but today's video is more about uh, passing on the questions and if I feel that I need to discuss something quickly, I will do that. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, questions have been asked regarding rules of the road of course and uh, this particular student was asked about rule number 2, uh, 5, 6, 8, 13, 14, 15, 18 and 19. Now, of course, uh, when you are asked so many rules, uh, that shows that uh, the surveyor probably was not very sure about your knowledge in rules of the road. If you answer the first few questions correctly and accurately, then the surveyor does move on. So this particular student who has sent me so many uh, rules that are being asked of him, I, I feel it is in my opinion, I feel that probably the surveyor was not very happy initially with his or her knowledge of the rules of the road. Uh, regarding publications, uh, the student has been asked about uh, sailing directions, a military list of radio signals, uh, list of lights and fog signals, and um, IMSR volumes as well. So IMSR, as you know, stands for International Maritime Aeronautical Search and Rescue. So there are four volumes or three volumes, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, so the student was asked about the search patterns, which is I think in volume three and uh, he was asked about Williamson turn as well when to execute and how to execute it what are the advantages or disadvantages of the Williamson turn I have made videos on all of these turns you can find it in the playlist uh, I have discussed how the turns are uh, made and what are the advantages and disadvantages of each then the student was asked about uh, echo sounders I have videos on that as well and GPS I have a couple of videos on GPS as well sextant I have a multi multiple number of videos on sextant then uh, swinging circle calculations so swinging circle is for vessels at anchor uh, sextant he was asked about errors just in case if you want to ask me what is uh, what are the errors the sextant is prone to uh, then of course like i said um, if you are in anchorage how do you calculate the swinging circle what would be your action if your vessel is dragging anchor i have discussed all this in my videos uh, when in which situation do you call master i've discussed this as well uh, then uh, talking about the uh, sea areas, the GMDS sea areas, how are they defined and what are the different sea areas. I have made video on that as well. Then uh, questions have been asked regarding notice to mariners. Um, again, I have f I think three videos on how to use notice of mariners, what are the different sections, what are these sections for. And then I have, uh, okay, and then the questions have been asked about limitations of the radar. Uh, again, I have discussed that as well. I have about four or five videos talking about RPAS and radars and radar plotting. You can find everything there. Please watch those videos and you will find answers. Uh, and then compass error finding methods. So you can talk about the azimuth method and amplitude method. Again, I have made hundreds of videos uh, on uh, celestial navigation as well. Please feel free to watch them and enhance your knowledge. So like I said, uh, most of these questions, I have already made videos on them. So I don't... Uh, need to discuss any of these answers in this video here all right uh, then uh, the, uh, some other students have sent me questions regarding cardinal marks have been asked uh, they have been shown cards uh, showing them different cardinal marks so make sure you do the cardinal marks the boys uh, flags some of the important flags like flag hotel was asked so you should be knowing that means pilot on board and also flag oscar was asked as well uh, but please prepare all the flags if you can then uh, situations regarding rule of the road uh, was asked and particularly crossing situation was asked uh, two vessels were crossing and uh, he or she was uh, supposed to answer what would be their action if they are the stand on vessel or if they are the giveaway vessel again i have discussed rules of the road in multiple videos please watch those videos i have discussed rule of the road cards boys everything uh, 
uh, then uh, publications uh, general publications to be used when planning the passage i uh, discussed that as well uh, principle of sextant and the errors it's prone to so again the student was asked uh, about and then echo sounders anchor dragging so all those are common questions deviation card is a new question so i have made a video on deviation card as well if you go into the folder of magnetism you will see that i have made a video on deviation card as well so there are some common questions that are being asked uh, world over not world over at least uh, in the three countries that i am discussing so please make sure that you prepare these questions then uh, regarding marpol nx1 discharge criteria was asked nx5 discharge criteria then uh, the garbage record book questions regarding ism uh, then uh, oily water separator uh, classes of fire um, what is mctc tpc heel and list in ship stability uh, what are the equipment carried in the live boats uh, procedure of recovery of live boat what are the safety precautions to be observed so i have made videos on most of them except maybe for the recovery of live boat i have not made i, I should probably do that as well one day i am going to make it i am working on those videos there are so many ideas and suggestions i have been getting so i am slowly working on them because i like to research uh, get some pictures uh, to show you as well so i need to find them and uh, need to make notes so it takes time for me to make videos on uh, suggested topics and i get lots of suggestions but here most of the topics i have pretty much covered uh, i think only recovery of live boat is something i have not covered all right i keep on going on and i because i have compiled all these questions for you for you so i thought i think i should keep going and pass it on to you all right so this student was asked about the flags as well he was asked about the flag uh, zulu papa and yankee so please prepare those flags as well and think about what they stand for the different types of boys uh, lights shape and top mark of boys were asked as well so he was shown cards and asked to answer then uh, fairway boys what are they used for and under what circumstances can your vessel alter course to port this is again rule of the road you can talk about rule number 2 there are many examples of uh, what circumstances your vessel can alter course to port i can give you a few examples here itself that if you don't have sufficient sea room or if you have dangers to navigation on your starboard side you should not be altering course to starboard uh, if altering to starboard puts you at the risk of uh, collision with another vessel you should not be altering course to starboard again in restricted visibility you should not be altering course uh, to starboard if there's a vessel uh, abaft of your beam on the starboard side uh, and there are other circumstances as well when you don't uh, alter course to starboard all right just on the top of my head i have given you a few examples here and then questions were asked about angle of lull and uh, when is a vessel considered unstable this is all in ship stability questions regarding meta center gm writing moment uh, all this again and again i have discussed uh, all this in uh, multiple videos on ship stability so i am sure you will find the answers to all this uh, then uh, writing moment okay i mentioned that already when is a vessel considered to be seaworthy um i think i should make a video on this i don't have a video on this but i i will make a video on this then nx6 of marpol procedures for sox and nox emissions and reduction were uh, asked as well and uh, how sox and nox reduction is carried out on modern ships all right garbage record book how many parts what are the entries to be make ballast water management plan types of ballast water exchange uh, then uh, oily water separator and oil discharge monitoring control system so difference between oil discharge monitoring control system and oily water separator has also been asked uh, then uh, fixed fire fighting systems on board ships and how it all works what are the checks maintenance to be carried out so if you have a co2 system or a fixed uh, foam expansion foam system make sure that you uh, gather knowledge about that all right and uh, scba checks so that is self contained breathing apparatus so if you have breathing apparatus on board before you don it and use it for any kind of fire fighting operations what are the checks that will be carrying out and uh, of course uh, so i think that's pretty much it uh, yeah i think i've pretty much uh, summarized all these questions so again like i said uh, another student was asked when can you alter course to port so i have given you already some uh, answers and also if you are avoiding fishing vessel uh, not under command vessel just restricted ability to maneuver vessel you can alter course to port because it is your duty to keep clear sometimes some vessels come with an obstruction side and safe side these are normally mine clearance vessels or dredgers then you can alter course to port if the safe side is on the port side 
Uh, all right so i think with all that i will uh, stop the video here i have given you enough questions to ponder and to think over if you have any doubts about any questions or the response to any uh, please contact me write to me and i'll try to make a video on them i am noting down these topics as well some of the topics on which i have not made videos so i will cover that in my future videos but thank you very much for watching my channel and supporting the channel and uh, giving me feedback which helps me to improve the videos uh, all the best with your study guys and keep studying hard um, uh, you'll get there soon all right bye for now